All right, um, I'm going to show you how to do titler utility in Flowblade. And uh, in case you missed that, we're using Flowblade 1.12, which is the latest version as of today's date. And uh, let's, uh, let's first bring up some media. Let's see, what do we got here? How about the, um, how about the rain bucket? Okay, we got a bucket collecting rain. Real exciting video. And it's basically just water running off the roof into a bucket. Okay. Let's go back to home. And, um, you know, this video is a little too long. It's uh, about 30 seconds long. I'm going to uh, trim this. Uh, to let's say about 17 seconds there we go and now we can work with this now at the beginning of the video I want to put up a title and then at the end I'm going to put a title okay so we're going to be putting two different titles onto this video so I'm going to click on this T here that's the titler and here we go and it's showing us the frame uh, where the current video segment is at and uh, the default is 15 points but I'm gonna bring it up to 40 and uh, I'm gonna change the text to the rain falls off the roof okay I want to change the color to something dark okay and move it down to about here and I can also do things like italics bold center justified left justified etc but that's pretty much what I want now what the titler does it saves small image files that contain nothing but the text that we generated to it with a transparent background. So I'm going to save title graphics. Uh, let's save it in video. And I'm going to call this um, Rain Fall. Okay. Rainfall. Okay. Shut this down for a second. And now let's run the video. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause it right about here at about the seven minute mark. Excuse me, seven second. And let's put up another title. Let's bring back the titler. And let's get rid of this and change it to um, the bucket gets filled up okay and let's move this down here and let's change the color uh, to white it's a little bit easier to see against that background there we go the bucket gets filled up okay all right, once again, we got to save the title graphic. And we're going to call this one Bucket Full. Okay. Now then, we're done with the title or utility, and now we're going to put this into our timeline. Um, here are my, up in my uh, bin, I have the rainfall and the bucket full. These are the two graphics that we created. So I'm going to bring this in, drop it right about there, right at the beginning. And now you can't see the original video because of the way Flowblade works. The higher the video track in number, the precedence it has. So, but we can 
merge these two by using what's called a blend. So I'm going to click on this. Uh, I'm going to add a compositor blend. And there it is. And now we can run this. All right. Um, the title is up there way too long, really. So I'm going to stop it right there. I'm going to trim this one. And we're going to, oops, clicked on that wrong. Wait a minute. Sorry about that. There we go. And we're going to shorten it down to here. And we're going to get our effect and we're going to sync it with the original clip, origin clip. And now, okay, it disappears before it gets down. Okay. Okay, I'm going to stop it right about there, about the seven minute mark. Let's go back to my media bin and let's get bucket full. Let's put that right about there. Okay. And again, we got to do a compositor blend. Okay. Now we can see. Okay. Well, one neat thing about doing a effect with the compositor, you can actually change the opacity of the clip. So um, I'm going to go back to here. Just give you this isn't part of really the title, or I'm just going to show you this real quick. Um, how about right there? We um, let's add a point, and we're going to bring that down to about 80 percent, and. Let's add another point here and bring this down to um, yeah, about 57. Let's add another point here and we're going to bring that down. Let's say about 28. And finally, one towards the end, we're going to bring it down to when it's just not visible. Now, let's go back and see what we just did. Watch the text fade away. And because these titles are just regular graphic files, you can use this with um, any graphic that fade in and out. But I did digress. Okay, let's get back um, to the titler. Uh, that's the end of the titler tutorial and if you want to know anything else about Flowblade or you want a more in-depth titler example, uh, email me. Thanks for watching.